Hello, and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the Mokona Man at YouTube with a, another modeling video. Previously, in this uh, 3D printing series, I've uh, come across faults and uh, pulled the nozzle off the extruder head to clear that out due to a blockage, uh, mostly from being sealed by the bed hitting it. I've uh, calibrated the uh, bed level and now I'm going to clear out the entirety of the extrusion head. It could be a few reasons why the material is uh, being blocked in the extrusion head. The next video will be discussing the problems with printing in uh, PLA. Today we're just going to show how to uh, perform that bit of maintenance. In most software, uh, particularly the up software, in the maintenance window you'll have a extrude command. Uh, this is really ideal for finding out if uh, the extrusion functions are working or not. The material will come out clearly or something other will happen. Uh, this is an example when there is a blockage. So for the life of you, material will not extrude from the nozzle or extrusion head whatsoever. At the uh, top, you're able to shut down the machine and uh, remove the ribbon cable. As you've uh, set it up, it's attached by magnets, which is pretty clever because when the bed ever uh, hits the nozzle too hard, uh, being able to separate via the magnets uh, prevents components from shattering. So I kind of like that. So first, don't worry about the spool material sticking out. We'll cut that closer to the stepper motor so we're not wasting material. We can uh, dismantle it quite safely and you can see where it's sitting and have a better look at where uh, the damage is occurring. Uh, the body is made out of ABS and it's all wrapped around the uh, stepper motor. The entire thing is going to be um, hot as balls so uh, allow it to sit for a while before you handle with your bare hands. The um, up stuff comes with all tools and uh, equipment required, so an Allen key to remove the bolts. Uh, I don't think I have to mention, be mindful of the wires. They can be uh, split and separated. Once uh, cracked and you're able to get access to the uh, plastic uh, spool, making sure it's not a wire, cut it with the uh, wire cutters as close to the stepper motor as possible and everything should be separated as so with the wires being somewhat like a hinge. The uh, plastic bit is where the fan is, uh, the other half the main metal body is the stepper motor and we've got the heat exchange and a heat sink attached to the bottom half. The heat sink is wrapped around the funnel to the heat exchange. Uh, it can be removed as well with the Allen key bolts. Uh, once freed then you've got the heat exchange as a separate component. Once everything separated the uh, last of the material can be cut flush to the funnel to the heat exchange. Now this filament is 1.75 uh, mil. I've got a pin vise drill and I'm using a uh, 2 mil drill just to anchor in a bit then followed by a 1.5 mil drill bit to drill all the way to get as deep to the um, blockage as possible. I find you don't have to drill too deep as uh, just before the point where it gets uh, hot which is only a few mil. When you drill all the way through the uh, filament it gets quite loose and soft and it'll fall all the way deep into the um, heating chamber. Later on that's just going to melt down and extrude out. As a uh, precaution and as we have everything uh, pulled apart, get the uh, pin vise and uh, drill bit sized up for uh, drilling out the nozzle and give that a bit of a clean out. When the entire assembly is uh, cold and you have any desire to take the nozzle off, uh, don't. Wait until you set it up, plug it in, power it up and warm it out to uh, remove the nozzle properly unless you want to kill the thread. When all said and done, uh, assembly time, 
Uh, the most important part to get absolutely uh, correct is assembling the funnel to the heat exchange, to the stepper motor, and the heat sink just right. So the filament guides in uh, fine, and your uh, nozzle and heat exchange isn't going to be uh, loose and potentially going to drop out or hit straight into the uh, bed. So make sure it's quite solid before uh, attaching and tightening everything. I've uh, personally learnt this the hard way. Rest of the assembly is uh, very straightforward. Should just snap together and bolt in. Place the extruder head back in the 3D printer, uh, hook it up, turn it on, and within the command uh, window of the software, wait until the uh, nozzle heats up and execute the extrude command again. Supposedly, the material should just extrude out no problems uh, whatsoever if you're finding every time you're printing and mid printing it's gonna print in the air not extrude any material and constantly getting blocked you're uh, getting some sort of ongoing issue which will be mechanical or material related if you happen to be operating the same or a similar 3d printer and you're having uh, the same clogging issue with uh, PLA, the next video installment uh, tomorrow will be for you. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, until next time, uh, every uh, discovery I make with uh, 3D printing, I'll uh, post here, make videos, and continue with the series. As always, until uh, next time, stay tuned for more uh, modeling. Don't forget this is a modeling channel, uh, reviews and tutorials. See you guys next time.